Hey there, geeks. Tim with MajorGeeks.com. Today we're going to show you how to use the new Microsoft Disk Usage in Windows 10. It's going to allow you to look at your hard drive and decide by a certain number that you specify how many folders have file sizes or taking up more space than what you specify. It's just a roundabout way, a free way, without having to download third-party tools to see where your disk space is going. But it takes a little bit of work. Bear with me once you see it. It's not too tough. So... The app is actually called Disk Usage and it's found in Windows System 32. So let's start Command Prompt or PowerShell as admin. You can do CMD, run as admin, or I like the Windows key plus X. I prefer PowerShell whenever possible. And there you go. So I have an example here just to get you started. Once you understand this line, you're good to go because you can make modifications and find all, all sorts of different things that you can change from here. So let's copy this, look for the little I up here somewhere around here and or check the video description for a link to get over here to grab this code if you need it but I'll show you a, a way to get to all the information let's press that in there now because we're in Windows System 32 by default we have to specify which folders we want to look at so we're just going to use Windows for fun type that in now what this number means this is what you need to know is ballpark not quite it's, it's somewhere around a gig so this number is going to be gigabytes or megabytes and that's an important number to know you want to say what size you want to look for space use usage if you will so as you can see it's only showing me space used over a gigabyte and that's just a ballpark number it's actually i think i think what i did was i cut this this is two gigabytes for sure i think i just changed the <laughs> changed the changed the two to a one see to be lazy and called it quits rather than pull out my calculator and split it in half to get to exactly a gigabyte so it's not exactly but so you can keep changing that number let me show you let's copy and paste that in there real quick and take two numbers out of there now you can see 340 megs so to be honest with you there's just some of you out there smarter than me you know probably pretty close but i'm terrible with numbers and math so basically we're into the megabyte range here somewhere. So you can keep modifying that as you go till you get what you want. You'll also notice you can use G instead of min file size. I made a typo there. I better fix that before I post the video. So there's two ways to use it. I'll get to that in just a second. So what you want to do now is, is there certain folders that you want to check? If you know Command Prompt or PowerShell, it's not too hard if you haven't used it before. Let me show you real quick. So we know we're in Windows. So what I'm going to do first, I'm going to do CD backslash. So if you're playing along at home, go ahead and do that. And that's going to put you into the root of C. Now you can look at all your folders. As you know, like your photos, music, videos, they're in under users. But just for playing around, I'm going to show you a couple of things. So we could do CD users just like that. Note that it doesn't pay too much attention to the capitals. So you can just do it that way. Now we're in users, and if you want to find a folder, for example, you find your username, and then when you do that, you can find, by doing the exact same thing I just showed you, CD, username, DIR to list, and then you can see your downloads videos. So now you can do the same thing you did up here by changing the path to where you're at right now. All right, so let's do CD and go back again. Just so I want to show you one last thing. There is one catch here. If you want to go to program files or anything that's more than one word, you've got to put it in quotes. So it doesn't change much except CD, which is change directory, by the way, space, quote, program files. You've got to have that quotation in there so that Windows recognizes the space. Hit enter. And as you can see, we are in program files. So what you want to do is find whatever folder you're interested in so that you're, you're where you need to be or you can actually type it in, which is fine as well. You could do it just like we did here. So you could actually copy this for the one gig number and change it to C colon backslash users backslash major geeks backslash videos. I'd type it in, but I'll screw it up. So, yeah. But anyway, another thing you can do is add the question mark. You can almost always do this with PowerShell or the command prompt. Let me show you. So we're going to type in, let's see here. I'm doing bad shape disk usage. Yeah, holy cow, I forgot that. Disk usage space forward slash question mark. And this is what I was talking about before we jump to. So as you can see here, I know it's a little confusing, but unless you're familiar with command prompt or PowerShell, it's not so bad. It's just understanding these, what they call switches. 
Once you put in the word disk usage, everything after that is a switch. So, just to give you a general idea, we used min file size. Let's find that right here, right there. I can use E instead of typing out min file size. And just scroll through and take a look what I did for an example. Now, normally you guys know I like to do my videos in five minutes if I can, but it's not quite possible here and to be able to show you everything. So let me just give you an example. We are just goofing around earlier when I did this tutorial. You could start out using the A or system reserve, which is the first thing listed here. That's going to show you where your system files and reserve space and how much are being used. So I think we could take this code right here. We might be able to take the min file size right out of it. Let's try that. Why not? I'm only five minutes in video. I'd love to start it all over again. So basically what I want to do is I just want to know what's using the space and I don't care. I believe the list gets really, really long, which is again why you need to use this min file size a lot. So just give it a second. Yeah, you see the problem there. So that's all your system reserve. By the time you get done, you won't be able to read everything. So you really want to pick your size because again, what we're looking to do here is find where the hard drive space is being used. Oh my God, you're killing me. Good luck going through that. All right, let's do it this way. It'll be faster. Boom. So let's do it just the way I did it. Approximately a gig. And I know it's not quite right. I'll change that to the two to make it the two, whoops, to make it the actual two gigabytes exactly. And press enter. There's your stuff all over. See how it's just two and a half gigs. Windows System 32, WinSys X, and of course, Windows. That is all your system files and reserve space being used. Also, every time you do it, you'll notice what you have here. So I'm in a VMware, so it's not a large disk, and it's reading it a little strange. I believe when I did it on mine, let's show you here. Yeah, there's my drive size, drive usage, and percentage. And there you go. That's about it. Play around with those switches just like I just did. Just look for the forward slash question mark. Type that in. Get this list. See if there's anything in here you want to do that's different. I could sit here for two hours otherwise. Next up, maybe you want a graphical user interface in this article down here at the bottom. Tree size whiz or whiz tree. They're both popular right here. See that portable link? See that portable link? That means you can download it, put it on your computer, use it, and delete it when you're gone. Take a look at the screenshot, see if anything there you like. See how nice and neat that is? Tree size and WizTree are probably the more popular ones here on Major Geeks, but here you go. They don't look much different. Grab the portable version. Once you've used portable, you'll never go back. And there you have it. So that should about do it for us. Anywho, as always at the bottom right corner, the Major Geeks subscribe link is right here. If you'd like, click like if we helped you out. Got any questions, let us know. And thanks for watching. As always, see ya.